We are going to get that run back. Akuma versus Ken. See how it plays out. Age 27 and age 23. Oh, yeah. I wanted to, to build upon your point, how you talked about how, you know, it's great to see the younger generation from Japan specifically starting to show out. And not only with the, the player base being a concern, but the popularity of Street Fighter in general was a concern. And we see True. now with Street Fighter VI, it has exploded more popular than it's ever been in Japan. We saw Giuna recently post the Rage exhibition matches, sold out tickets. The CR Cup, I believe it's called, with the VTubers. Amazing reach with that as well. Big ups to everybody that's behind that incredible uh tournaments and stuff from daigo as well implementing different people from the japanese gaming community it's been a real amazing show so let's get to grand finals as we said the future is bright kakaru and winner's side going up against order in in losers the run back from winner's finals we got shotos on shotos baby remember three games to one kakaru took it in winner's finals let's see if he can keep that up Oh, and a little confirmed. I was going to say, we didn't see a lot of OD Fireball, right? Like we talked about. It. It's an expensive gambit, but it can definitely oh, work no. the Akuma stuff. But the DP, once again, missing an action. Oh, hey. oh, 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 yeah, that is a popular option. Like, when you get that stand medium kick, it's pretty negative, right? So right. I like seeing the, the parry after. You don't see it a lot from Ken, but it's a smart decision. Ooh. Perfect parry again. Both of these guys so good at perfect parrying projectiles. Oh, okay. Man. They can clip on that one, but oh, honestly, kind of surprised Kakaru committed to throw there. He's hoping to burn out. That's oh. exactly what happens. Odorin did it of his own accord. I'm so interested in this round and how it plays out because Odorin finally spit OD Fireball a bunch, but he's burnt out because of it. Kakaru. Oh, he will die to chip. Oh, oh my god. What a wake up. Could he get the kill? That was so good. What a way to chip out right there. If you're Kakaru, you don't expect to have to immediately block something from that range, right? You think you're going to have a moment to breathe. What a step kick into level two. So smart. Man, these two already. What an explosive start to win or grand finals. Mm -hmm. Trying to bait something out right there in his face. They're in, not biting. Good punish, though. Yeah, he's been just close enough to get that a couple of times. Hoping to parry. And then jumping out right back in there, though. Under the apples. Oh, what a fireball! Dude, it is very difficult to contend against EX Fireball at that range. If you jump, he's recovering in time. If you block it, it's his turn. If you press the button, you're going to get hit. Like, it's just a, it's difficult to do. Yeah, like, if you block it, it's his turn. His OD Fireball is plus on block. As a Ken player, that pisses me off. <laughs> Oh, okay, now just trying to abuse the throw, right? Figured that Kakaru would go with that, try to be safe, not eat a lot of damage. But a big tech already. This man's walk speed. Look at it. I'm mm -hmm. so uncomfortable just looking at Akuma's walk speed. <laughs> In a game, that's so much about being at the right spot yeah. on screen. Like his, he, it's very difficult against Akuma to do that. Like, look at this bro. Oh, like, he gets to be where he wants to be. 100%. He is moving. Just can't get hit, but everything else looking good. Ooh, both of these players, the minute movements here, they're trying to bait out buttons from each other, both being very disciplined, though. He saved it. Going for a little bit more. That had connected, maybe, the end. Yeah. Ooh, and that's one of the things I, I like seeing. When people Ayy. are trying to do stuff like that, it's that drive rush into the low, immediate level three. Yeah, I think he's dead. I'm not sure. Okay, you're right. You're okay. right. Okay. What do you got on the... Oh, yeah. Oh. No, thank you. <laughs> Did not want to contend at all. Teleport back. And now he's in? Ooh. Back it up. Yeah, block it a little bit. Yes. Don't even try to take the risk of jumping. Oh I totally get that. All right. Woo! Smart. Smart. I assume that was like a jab timing to where you would have blocked the low. You know what I mean? Like a fuzzying the jab a little bit. But who knows? It still could have been dangerous. Damn, son. I, <laughs> I would have pressed the button. Yeah. 100%. You're just going to get in my face like that. Beautiful trade conversion. There it is. Oh, the back dash getting clipped. Oh, you were on one corner. Now you're on the other. Just like that. <laughs> yeah. Again, DP missed instead. Fireball comes out. Oh, no. Oh, to the other man. side first. Kakuda smartly gets corner. And this is a 30 year life, maybe more into Dell. Damn, he got an OD adamant flame extension because of that side Knockdown, switch. offensive. In drive trouble, though. Indeed. 
But hey, he would have been burnt out if he had to do a DRC instead of an OD for that last combo. Hey. Oh, the sweet punish after trying to face something out. But in still so disciplined right now. What? Jab oh, okay. It ends up working out. Jeez. Like, I'm trying to think if he deliberately let that jab rock the first time to blow up Kakaru's defensive timing. Or if that was just, you know, something that ended up working out that way. That walk speed right there. Dude. In and out of Ken's <laughs> range. Just like that, he was out of it. Ooh, nice job. Level one committed. Yeah, the Ooh. empty demon flip. If he wants it to be his turn, he gets to do that. Yeah, yeah. Catches that order in, trying to walk forward. Take advantage of the crouch medium punch block. He's still a turn. Oh, speaking of which. He could have gotten the kill. Let's see if it pays off. Hoping to hold on to that bar and get the round anyway. Yeah, you know that's Again, exactly. offensive. Mm, yeah, he tried. The stand fierce, driver's cancel stand fierce is like, it'll blow up a lot of immediate m button matches yeah. on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, understandable, but good discipline from Kakaru once again. Ooh, oh. Yes. More great discipline from Kakaru right there. Not trying to take his turn after the third light. Waited for the Jinrai. Again, at the right spot to get that. Mm. Dude, those exactly spot on crouchy medium kicks. That was at the tip of that. I'm really impressed with both of their ground games, too. Like, again, remember, these are players in their 20s, and they're playing like the 40 year old veterans. Yeah, for like, sure. The ground game has been immaculate so far. Kakaru dangerous. Enough resources, even still. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, gotta find something else. Wake up driver versus actually from Kakadu. I mean, fairly safe. It would have been minus two on block. Yeah, exactly. Exactly would've, why would've he needed did to it. have been a hard read to get over it. Yeah, exactly why he did it. Oh! Yes, of course. Definitely because it's going to allow him to get his drive meter back and it's going to freeze Kakaru's right. So he's going to have a moment here where he's got some big drive meter advantage. Well, we've seen a lot of OD fireball in this instance, but he's too close for that right now. Throws a regular fireball because he doesn't have to worry about Kakaru doing it. Oh, keep it up. Nice work. What a response. The reactions were there, not just for the jab, but to know that the opponent was doing something up in the sky, putting themselves in that float state. Yeah, and force knockdown conversion. It's again order in. Forcing the situation with a drive rush as Ken does so often. Hey, yeah. So yeah, but exactly. You might as well just commit to the third string. And Kakaru, of course, punishing with a crouch button as you should. Oh. oh, man. You only get that after a few games of walking back and forth at just that spot. Exactly, man. I That's love the payoff. Yeah. Ooh. Then trying to parry off the stand fierce. Look at that. Yeah, like all this right here, this little minutia movement, that's what establishes the ability to walk up throw and sneak those in. Yeah. Here we again. Oh, my goodness. This is so sick. Something about Kakura's movement in this set is killing me. Level two? Yeah, he's going to commit to it. It's going to burn out if it doesn't kill, but it is a Kuma. Nope, not yet. Even the X Fireball? Yeah, that is enough. Straight up. Yeah. Pretty smart follow-up from Orarin. Able to put the first round on the board. Oh. Move forward at the start. Just like that, he's already got the corner. Cave wall. Mm -hmm. This might be your cave, but I'm turning this into my corner. Oh, he wanted the driver sweep. He's got a couple of times for Mora. The burnout's close. Okay, not anymore. Jeez. Suddenly, Kakaru very active right there. I was going to say, he spent a lot of his drive yeah, doing man. that. Didn't get back to above two now, so he can keep bullying if he wants. <laughs> Again. I love it. Walked out, walked in. Order in. He's got above two bars from this range. Yeah, you're not going to see a lot of OD fireball. It's that Kakaru ready for a regular one. Perfect punish. Oh, he's too far. Very close. It just oh. feels like in those moments right there, Kakaru gets to be the one who chooses where there. he goes in, whether the buttons can connect. Right there, he chose just the right moment to move. 
I can't believe he committed to the OD Adamant flame. Or maybe he just confirmed it because he burned uh, himself out there. Yeah, yeah. But that's a wild confirm if he did. Yeah, on the medium? Well, yeah. yeah, like on the crotch medium kick. Regular hit too, I think. I don't even think it was counter hit. I understand a lot of these fireballs here from Water. It's uncomfortable for him to move forward yeah. on the ground and try to contend in footsies. So to be a little bit further away makes a lot of sense. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like in those moments where Kakaru will put out a button while you're walking in, maybe he uh, puts out a button in response to the fireball. You get some damage that way. Make him second guess. But right now, Kakaru's in such deep control. Yeah, he kills on the next hit. What I mean. Oh, because he tried to jump over, is going to lose the game. And Kakaru will go up two games to one. That man set up the trap. Tried to up. avoid the chip damage on that fireball. Not just that, but it would have moved him further into the corner, too. He could have been stunned. So his attempt to escape was read by Kakaru. Now, looking good. And look at that. The way it starts again, right? Both players walking in and out of each other's ranges and just sneaking in the throw. As we see the respect from the normals. Mm. Oh. Yes, saw it in time. There's the issue. Oh, yeah, the meaty stab, medium punch, so you can link to another one. Oh, and then that's nice. Perfect. Yeah, literally just the perfect timing on that one. Okay. Oh, he did press the fierce. Kakaru, I think, was trying to walk up grab again. He yeah. was really scooting forward. Definitely was trying to look for that. Fierce, yeah, very close on that sand roundhouse. So. Yeah, that was a risky spot. Yeah, it's a little scary, even on hit. There's the spot. I was gonna say, yeah. Turns it on now. Mm. He's got three bars. He's hunting for the kill. Kakaru denies it. Yeah, and before that, he actually oh, threw the recovery. Yeah. Just walked up and threw as a whiff punish. Didn't actually punish, but you get my meaning. Oh, oh, all the way through. Crouch confirm, order in. No drops, tied up set, level two as well. Oh man, on the verge of resetting this bracket. Been a very close setup against Kakaru. When they played before, again, it was three to one. Kakaru had a little bit more control, but as this has continued. Oh no, yeah, oh, now in what could be the final game of the tournament, <laughs> or it's reset into another entire set. What a moment to bring out M. Bison. This man Kakaru said, Ski Mask Bison, brother. I'm that, uh, getting this one game. That jab range, you see what I was talking about that's right there? True, he walked yeah. up and he did the jabs at this super far spot. And honestly, with the way they're playing, that's really good. Yeah. Oh, speaking of being really good, or oh, in. Beautiful whiff punish with the sand heavy kick. Okay. Mm, just parry, don't forget. Pretty good work. Bomb set up. Plus on bar because of the bomb. Yeah. Oh, the sweep. You're not going to get close to me. And then the reach. No. No. That was a big execution error. Oh. Okay. Yeah, still there, though. Stomped out. A lot of drive gauge damage, by the way. I mean, Orin has been fighting a lot on Orange, but especially now. Oh, man. Level two. Some good damage here. Oh. Uh, match point now. Kakaru tournament point, actually, Kakaru. Yeah. With the Bison. The switch over to Bison in this game? What a time to do it. That's wild. Oh, Got it on the link. The scissor kick combo follow up because of the counter hit. Oh, the oh, OD. Oh, no. That's a huge it's so starter. Much. It's so much. Oh. It's so much. Yeah. Into the bomb again. He saved it. He could have done the OD stop, but yeah, he wants dude. the meter. He knows. Oh, baby. All right. I don't know if he's going to save it now. Are yeah. you bringing it all out? Oh, oh my oh. God. What a way to end it. Kakadu with the switch to Bison. Not only gets the W, but with the huge damage combo gets a perfect as well to take Japan World Warrior number one. Such fantastic discipline from Kakaru as well. Not going with the OD stomp in the combo previously, right? Because it wasn't going to be enough damage to end it. He wanted to make sure he still had all the resources available for the next hit. And boy, he made that one count for the full tournament victory. <laughs> that man played Bison in one game. In one game. He's like, ah, it's all wow. good. Final game. Let me pick some Bison, bro. That was wild to see. But yeah, like we talked about, with, with Bison and the damage output he has, you just got to be right a couple of times. And if your opponent is really wrong, then man, does the mm. damage just pour out.
So good stuff from Cockadoo. And this was such a mentally like taxing set, right? So I really love in the final game, kind of switching it up, making your opponent think about a whole new game plan, a whole new character after having to go tooth and nail fighting to get to that point. Not only did he have the intel from this first set, but also the winner's final set. So just flipping all that on its head for the final game seemed like it really paid off. That was uh, eight games into their series, I suppose, because yeah, exactly. of winner's final. So in that moment right there in the ninth game, he went to Bison. And then, yeah, it's all up to you to adjust now or never, right? Yes. Because it's literally the set is on the line. This entire round could just be a highlight. Yeah, 100%. I mean, it's going to take three more seconds. Yeah, there <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Bruh, the ch 